Hello students, welcome to class and today I'm going to be solving a math olympiad question which is the root of a composite sword, you know. So let me show you how it is being done. Solution now. Okay, I have root of 37 minus 4 root 75. I'm to find the square root of this. You see, if it to be a rational number such as root of 4, then quickly it is 2 or plus minus 2. Let me put it this way. So that when we square plus minus 2, we get our 4. But if it is complicated a bit like what I have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use substitution uh, to actually make it simpler. And what will I do? Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I will say let the square root, let the square root of this particular question, let it be root of x minus root of y. Now, I decided to choose this because and if you check, this is minus that is here. So I'm going to have it as minus here. That is one. Then secondly, it is actually um, a composite sort. So I now chose a composite sort as the root. Okay. If I were to be plus here, then I'm going to choose root of x plus root of y. But it is not. So take note of that. All right. Okay. Right, let's move on now with our work. Um, hmm. so once we have this it means that um, root of x minus root of y is actually equals to root of 37 minus 4 root 75 okay on squaring on squaring both sides I'm going to have root of x minus root of y all squared will be equals to root of 37 minus 4 root 75 all squared. So you see that this square uh, cancel the square root. So I'm going to have root of x uh, minus root of y, of course, multiplying root of x minus root of y then it's equals to 37 minus 4 root 75. Now, expanding this root of x, check it out, root of x, okay, uh, times root of x is going to be root of x squared. So this cancels this. So it settles the root of x times this root of x, it becomes x. Then I'm going to have minus x root y because root of x times root of y it is that then minus another x, uh, minus, minus root of x, y. Then the last one is plus um, y. Because negative root of y times negative root of y becomes plus y. Now this is going to be 37, okay, minus 4. But you see, this 75 can actually be simplified to basic form as, uh, okay, let me show you the method now. This is 25 times 3. All right, so having this, I'm going to have x plus y minus 2 root of x, y will be equals to 4, sorry, not 4, will be equals to 37 minus 4, then here becomes 5 root 3. All right, so this is x plus y minus 2 root of x, y will be equals to 37 then minus 20 root 3. Now, having this, uh, I've actually simplified. So, I will now start by comparing terms. By comparing terms or coefficients. Okay, you can do both. What I'm going to have is this. Now, check out these two, which are uh, normal rational numbers. Uh, will be equals to 37, all right? So I'm going to have x plus y is equals to 37. And this is 
the first equation that is equation one now the second which we have this radical here should be equals to this radical so that i'm going to have minus two root of x y is equals to minus 20 root of 3 now this itself can uh, or um, can be simplified now if i divide both sides by minus 2 this cancel this so i'm going to have root of x y will be equals to uh, 10 root 3 now on squaring both sides okay squaring both sides I'm going to have root of x, y all squared is equal to 10 root of 3 all squared. Now, this is x, y will be equal to 100 times 3. So that x, y is equal to 300. Now, this is my second equation, equation 2. Now, solving equation 1 and 2 uh, simultaneously. Okay, remember, so bringing the equations, I have the first equation, x plus y is equals to 37. That is equation 1. Then I have x, y is equals to 300. That is equation 2. Now, from equation 1, from equation 1, what I'll do is uh, y is going to be equals to 37 minus x so i made y the subject formula in this case then i will now substitute for y is equals to 37 minus x in equation um, two so i'm going to have um, i'm going to have x into 37 minus x instead of y is equal to 300 expanding it i'm going to have 37 x minus x squared is equals to 300 so rearranging it because now it is uh, an issue of a quadratic equation now rearranging it i'm going to have x squared um, minus 37 x then plus 300 is equal to zero so i'm going to solve this now, the way to solve it is, you know, you pick the two extreme values, you multiply them, so you have 300x squared. So, I'll find the factors of 300x squared. That will sum to give me minus 37x. All right, so the factors are minus, okay, no minus there. Is there minus? Yes. Good. You are going to have minus 25x and minus 12x. All right. So these are my factors. So I'll replace them. I'm going to have x squared minus, instead of 37x, I'm going to have minus 25x minus 12x is uh, then plus 300 is equal to zero. So I'll group them into so that I can factorize further. Now I'm grouping them and factorizing. I'm going to have x is common in this first bracket. Then I have this. Okay. Then minus uh, 12 is common. I have x, then minus 25 is equal to 0. So you can see factorizing further, this is what I'm going to have. And uh, x minus 12 is equal to 0. So apparently, if you do it, x minus 25 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 25. Then x minus 12 is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to 12. But you see, we still need to get our y. Now, when x is equal to 25, remember our y is 37 minus x. So y will be uh, 37 minus 25, which is equal to 12. Now, in this case, remember our root is root of x minus root of y so in this case i'm going to have root of um, x is 25 then minus root of y which is 12. now this is going to be 5 minus this is going to be 4 times 3 so it's going to be 5 minus 2 
root 3. So I've gotten this part. Then I'll move to the second. When x is equal to 12, I'll see my y as 37 minus 12. So my y becomes um, 25. And applying it in the root becomes, um, remember we say it's root of x minus uh, root of y. So I'm going to have root of 12 minus root of 25. So I'm going to do the same thing. But in this case, I'm going to have 2 root 3 minus 5. Now, if you check the two answers that I have, this and this, they are very similar, except one is the negative of the other. Hence, finally, I'm going to have my answer as plus minus 5 root of 2, sorry, 5, 2, root 3. This is my final answer. Now, in some question, you will require to find the positive value and... Also, you can be asked to find the negative value. So this will be the positive value and this will be the negative value. So you select whichever you want to select. So thank you so much for being with me, working out this question. I have more and interesting videos in my channel. So please subscribe and keep watching good math videos.